Welcome to Spaceverse, your portal to cosmic adventures. Up in our night sky, there's this massive red giant star called Betelgeuse. It's so huge that if you swapped it with the sun, it would stretch all the way out to Jupiter's orbit, imagine that. But here's where it gets even more interesting. Betelgeuse is super unstable and could be on the verge of a massive explosion anytime now. Astronomers notice some dramatic changes happening on its surface, and that's when the Hubble Space Telescope, our trusty space detective, stepped in to solve the mystery. Hubble's sharp eyes reveal that the star wasn't just dimming for no reason, it had thrown off a massive amount of hot material into space. This ejected material formed a gigantic dust cloud that blocked a big part of Betelgeuse's light from reaching us. What's even cooler is how this cloud came to be. It likely started as super hot plasma erupting from a huge convection cell on the star's surface. As this plasma moved through Betelgeuse's atmosphere and cooled, it turned into dust grains, creating a cloud that dimmed about a quarter of the star's surface. So what we saw as a dimming was actually a cosmic dust storm happening on a star hundreds of light years away. Isn't that wild? Hubble's ultraviolet light spectroscopy studies, which kicked off in January 2019, played a crucial role in unraveling the mystery behind Betelgeuse's dimming. These observations detected dense, hot matter moving through the star's atmosphere. Around December 2019, ground-based telescopes also caught sight of the dimming, particularly in Betelgeuse's southern region. At first, this expelled material was even brighter than the star itself, but as it traveled outward and cooled, it formed a dark cloud. The leading theory is that this massive outflow of material and the resulting dust cloud were behind the sudden dimming. The explosion that caused this event was absolutely huge, putting Betelgeuse at the forefront of astronomical interest. In fact, Betelgeuse ejected around 400 billion times the mass typically released during a normal coronal mass ejection. This material, weighing several times more than the Moon, marked a significant milestone not only for Betelgeuse, but also for our understanding of how stars behave. But what does such a colossal outburst mean for our understanding of Betelgeuse and the process of supernovae in general? It's an exciting glimpse into stellar evolution. This has big implications for our understanding of supernovae. Red supergiants like Betelgeuse are generally believed to lose mass at a steady pace before they explode in their final moments. But the sheer scale of this mass ejection challenges that idea, hinting that these stars might experience a much more chaotic and unpredictable phase as they near the end of their lives. Could Betelgeuse be gearing up for its grand finale, a supernova explosion, in just a few thousand years? Some recent studies are speculating it might happen sooner than we thought, perhaps even within the next few decades. Another fascinating piece of the Betelgeuse puzzle is the concept of bow shock. As this massive star races through space at about 67,000 miles per hour relative to the interstellar medium, it creates a bow shock, a wave, much like the one formed by a ship's bow cutting through water. This interaction occurs when Betelgeuse's outer layers collide with the surrounding gas and dust, showcasing the star's dynamic activity and its influence on its environment. The bow shock not only tells us a lot about Betelgeuse's current state, but also provides valuable insights into how stars like it lose mass and evolve over time. And what about Betelgeuse's recent behavior? After that massive ejection, the star's surface cooled and became less dense, indicating that it's still highly unstable, even years after the event. This makes Betelgeuse an even more intriguing subject for astronomers, as we continue to learn more about the life cycles of stars. Hydrodynamic models reveal a connection between Betelgeuse's convective activity, the massive ejection of material, and the changes in its pulsation modes. This ongoing instability raises important questions about the internal processes fueling these changes and what their ultimate outcome might be. Betelgeuse's mass loss rate is also much higher than that of many other stars, hinting at a complex interaction of forces within the star. The force pulsation, which contributes to Betelgeuse's mass loss, is influenced by the continuous energy loss from shock heating and mass ejection. These findings suggest that Betelgeuse's life cycle is more dynamic and less predictable than previously thought, prompting scientists to reconsider their models of how stars evolve. With all these dramatic changes, one can't help but wonder if Betelgeuse is gearing up to go supernova. This is a question that fascinates astronomers. While the exact timing of such an event remains unknown, the recent unusual mass ejection has shifted the conversation. Some now speculate that the star's end could come sooner than previously anticipated. 
Theories are being developed to understand what this massive outflow of material means for Betelgeuse's health and what lies ahead in its future. While astronomers are focused on Betelgeuse, another stellar event is capturing attention, the supernova SN 2023 EXF. This incredible explosion took place in the pinwheel galaxy Messier 101, which is just 21 million light years away. Discovered in May 2023, SN 2023 EXF stands out as the closest supernova observed in recent years, offering scientists a rare opportunity to study the final moments of a star. The discovery of SN 2023 EXF was an astronomical triumph. Koichi Itagaki, an amateur astronomer famous for finding supernovae, first noticed the rapidly brightening spot on the edge of Messier 101 using his modest 0.35-meter telescope. As soon as the discovery was announced, the global astronomy community leapt into action. Telescopes around the world, including the Hubble Space Telescope, quickly focused on the new supernova. In the race to studies in 2023XF, astronomers monitored its light curve, gathering crucial data about the explosion and the surrounding environment. During the month following its discovery, scientists tracked its behavior closely. Within just five days, as in 2023 EXF brightened dramatically before beginning a more gradual decline, dimming by 0.03 magnitudes each day. This rapid change provided invaluable insights into the dynamics of a supernova, allowing astronomers to make comparisons with other stellar events like the potential future explosion of Betelgeuse. Spectroscopic analysis of a 23 xf revealed several bright emission lines, showcasing the intense interactions between the supernova's expanding shock wave and the gas surrounding it. This wasn't merely the end of a star, it was the collapse of a massive star succumbing to its own gravity after exhausting its nuclear fuel, resulting in a stunning core collapse supernova. One of the most intriguing aspects of a 2023 xf is the dense shell of gas that surrounded the star, making it more challenging for the shock wave to escape from the core. There are two main theories to explain this dense material. Either the star experienced a strong, steady wind that blew off material before the explosion, or it underwent random eruptions that expelled matter into space. In either case, the star is thought to have lost up to a solar mass of material in the last one or two years of its life, suggesting its final days were anything but calm. Currently, researchers are focused on identifying the progenitor star of SN 2023 EXF. By using various methods and statistical models, astronomers have pointed to a likely candidate, a red supergiant. By closely studying the specifics of SN 2023 EXF's explosion, such as the nature of its progenitor star and the events leading up to the explosion, scientists aim to refine their understanding of stellar evolution and the mechanics behind supernovae. This research not only sheds light on SN 2023XF, but also helps deepen our knowledge of stars like Betelgeuse, which may one day meet a similar fate. These new insights are directly shaping our understanding of Betelgeuse's current state and its eventual fate as a supernova. They help astronomers better recognize the signs to watch for and decipher the complex behaviors of massive red giants. But the big question remains, when will Betelgeuse finally explode? Researchers at Tohoku University propose that Betelgeuse might be in the carbon-burning phase of its life, a stage that typically comes just before a star's death. Oki Seo, who leads this research, suggests that the star's core could collapse within a few decades after its carbon fuel runs out. However, scientists at Hungary's Konkli Observatory offer a different perspective, believing that Betelgeuse is still in an earlier phase, burning helium. Despite these differing views, there is a consensus that Betelgeuse is a prime candidate to be the next supernova in the Milky Way. Still, this explosion might not happen for another 100,000 years. Throughout history, observing supernovae has provided critical insights into stellar death. The earliest known record of a supernova dates back to 185 C, where a bright star was observed for eight months before vanishing. Other notable supernovae include SN1054, which created the Crab Nebula and was visible during the day for 23 days. The most recent supernova in the Milky Way, SN1604, was studied in detail by the famous astronomer Johannes Kepler. In more recent history, supernova 1987A in the Large Magellanic Cloud was observed just hours after its light reached Earth. It was the first supernova ever detected via neutrino radiation, and astronomers observed it across all electromagnetic spectrum bands. 
These groundbreaking observations have been pivotal in refining our models of supernova behavior and deepening our understanding of their role in star formation. Now, imagine the night sky suddenly bursting into a spectacular display of cosmic fireworks, a star exploding in a brilliant blaze, demanding attention. What if, within the familiar constellation of Orion, a new, blindingly bright star appeared? Betelgeuse, one of Orion's most prominent stars, had finally gone supernova. The thought sparks wonder, what impact might such an awe-inspiring event have on Earth? Betelgeuse is on the edge of a core-collapse supernova, a cataclysmic explosion that happens when massive stars burn through their nuclear fuel and succumb to the pull of their own gravity. Core collapse supernovae are some of the most energetic and destructive phenomena in the cosmos. When Betelgeuse finally explodes, it will do so in a matter of seconds, yet it will release more energy than our sun will over its entire billions of years of existence. A huge portion of that energy will be in the form of electromagnetic radiation, X-rays, gamma rays, and visible light. If Betelgeuse goes supernova, the night sky will be lit up by a spectacular celestial show that we will witness in real time. For a brief period, the explosion of Betelgeuse would outshine the moon, even visible during the day. Imagine glancing up and spotting a second, brighter sun gracing the sky for weeks or even months. This cosmic spectacle would mesmerize both seasoned astronomers and casual sky watchers alike. Yet, beyond its dazzling appearance, a Betelgeuse supernova would raise profound scientific questions. Supernovae, especially those from massive stars like Betelgeuse, serve as natural laboratories, offering invaluable insights into the inner workings of the cosmos. One of the most exciting aspects of observing a Betelgeuse supernova would be the chance to closely study the final moments of a star's life. When such stars explode, they scatter heavy elements like iron, created within the star, into space. This dispersal seeds the universe with the essential building blocks for new stars, planets, and even life itself. By analyzing the spectroscopic signatures and the spread of these elements after the explosion, scientists could deepen their understanding of stellar evolution, nuclear fusion, and the formation of new celestial bodies. This knowledge is key to piecing together the history and composition of our universe. Beyond the awe-inspiring light show, the detection of neutrinos would be another thrilling outcome. These elusive subatomic particles, nearly undetectable under normal circumstances, are produced in abundance during supernovae. Neutrinos offer a rare window into the core collapse of dying stars, revealing the processes driving the explosion. Studying these neutrinos could unlock new secrets about the extreme conditions of supernovae, shedding light on fundamental forces and particles at work in the universe. Detecting them would be a groundbreaking leap in astrophysics, potentially sparking discoveries about the most powerful events in the cosmos. The discovery of a Betelgeuse supernova could revolutionize our understanding of the universe's expansion and the enigmatic force known as dark energy. In the late 1990s, astronomers studying distant supernovae found that the expansion of the universe is accelerating, contrary to previous expectations. With Betelgeuse being relatively close to Earth, its supernova would offer a prime opportunity to gather data on the universe's expansion rate and the role of dark energy in driving it. This could significantly enhance our comprehension of these fundamental concepts and potentially reveal new insights into the universe's structure and fate. But what about the effects of a Betelgeuse explosion on Earth? Could such a supernova pose a threat to our planet or life as we know it? Fortunately, the answer is a reassuring one. Due to the vast distance between us and Betelgeuse, any direct impact is highly unlikely. To put things into perspective, one light year equals roughly 5.88 trillion miles, which gives us a sense of the immense scale of our universe. Betelgeuse, located approximately 725 light years away, is over 4,267 trillion miles from Earth. This colossal distance essentially acts as a natural cosmic shield, protecting our planet from the harmful effects of the explosion. Even if Betelgeuse were to go supernova in our lifetime, the light show in the sky would be spectacular, but the radiation and other energetic particles emitted from the blast would dissipate long before reaching Earth. In fact, supernovae need to be within about 50 light years of Earth to pose any significant risk, a far cry from Betelgeuse's safe distance. At most, we might experience a slight increase in cosmic radiation levels, but Earth's atmosphere and magnetic field would provide more than enough protection to keep us safe from harm. And that's it. 
Thanks for tuning into Spaceverse. Today, we dove into the exciting possibilities of a Betelgeuse supernova and its impact on our understanding of the universe. From cosmic expansion to the role of dark energy, it's a stellar event worth watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more space updates. Until next time, keep exploring the cosmos.